Hey, what's up, guys? Um, in this video, I will be reviewing a 44 outfield glove and showing you how I broke it in. Um, so first thing, let's go over the specs. Uh, 12.75 outfield glove, blonde web, black mesh in the back, blonde binding and welting, uh, full mesh too. Um, brown wingtip, brown laces, brown wrist, uh, silver logos. So, uh, as always, 44, great job. I uh, love this glove. Leather's phenomenal. Uh, I love it. So, here's the ball in the pocket. Swallows a baseball easily. Um, yeah. So, uh, I go three in the pink in it. Uh, I just like to feel like I have more control with it. Um, I'm trying to get it to there to break in, but it's almost there. Almost there, though. Uh, pretty close. The form I was going for is like this. How much of a flare? I'm almost there. Um, so, yeah. Um, two things I was disappointed about is this is a great lace. Those are good laces right there. Same here. Same here. But this lace right here is pretty bad. It is the thinnest lace I've ever seen on a glove. I don't think it really matters though. Um, another thing, I did get the silver foil palm stampings on the inside. I knew that they would fade over time, but I didn't know that they'd fade this quick. So, if you see can see here on the inside the top of the 44 there um it's already starting it's like pretty much gone you can't really see it um but i knew that happened over time also the o on the 44 there you can't see anymore um i don't know if that's because the hot water so uh yeah uh, i did hot water this and i um on an outfield glove, I don't really care if it collapses like this because I would like it to close easily. So I beat it on its side like that. Um, I also beat it with the mallet break point there. Also there. And of course the pocket. So that's all I did with it. I did hot water it just to get the form. And, um, I would recommend that while, um, the glove is wet, you beat it with the mallet a little bit, just cause the leather's loose then. So, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe.